Uh, my name is Eugene. I'm from Russia, and founder of Resumal Project. Uh, before I start, I want to talk a little bit about the technologies that are changing our lives. Like, and I, my project is in a recruiting area. So uh, let's think about how did how did people find a job like 50 years ago? They just opened the newspaper, wanted section, found some good stuff. They typed right uh, resume, sealed it in an envelope, and sent it to a potential employer. Now it's much easier. You just go online on online job boards on monster.com, you type in a, on a computer in a word processor your resume, you send it by email. That's obvious, that's much easier, much more effective. But the main resume, uh, the main document of this process, the resume, remains itself. It is the same. So it's one, two, three pages of plain text document, as it's been like 50, 60 years ago. It's hard to make for a person a resume. And it's hard for HRs, for recruiters, to screen, to read like hundreds of resumes they have to uh, during the day. So, we have a solution for this. You have lots of information now about yourself in your, uh, in your social networks profiles or some other sources. What resume is doing? So, we visualize your resume in one click by just importing profile data from your social network profiles such as Facebook or LinkedIn and automatically within seconds we create your timeline of course and education experience. That's a nice animation. <laughs> Thank you. Where you can see where you've been working on what positions, uh, during what period of time and what uh, achievements that you have. And you add in some skills, both job related and transferable within seconds again, identify your key values. And I didn't and make your identity. There is even the Myers Briggs test inside, so you just having again within seconds. If it's needed, you add some hobbies, and basically you're done within four minutes at most. And this is a standard of resume, and resume is a database of visual resumes which are reachable by HRs and recruiters. Okay, let's go. Here's the standard. There are three parts, experience, personality, and intention. If I'm looking for a job or just open to offers, I feel this part. Like, I want to, this is my desired salary, this is my desired position, I'm ready to travel, I'm ready to relocate, whatsoever. So, it is very useful interface inside. It's really easy to edit your information, to add, to synchronize with LinkedIn and Facebook and some others. There is a dashboard where you can see where your friends and what their is, what their skills, what's their resumes, what's their professional side, what their hardest languages they know. Because there is an obvious problem. We have lots of friends, but we don't know how in what profession they're performing, how good they are, at what languages they're programming. We have a HR part for better search through many filters, and uh, obviously, instead of reading like hundreds of pages of plain text, now you just can slide it. You just compare it to common line it used to be when we were communicating with computer to the graphic interface and it appeared. Okay, let's talk business. Uh, global online recruiting is about 100 billion of dollars. In US it's around 50 billion of dollars, UK 20, China around uh, 12. Uh, there are more than 3% are looking for a job. Actually, it's much higher. Like for US, for this year, it's 9.7% uh, of total population who is looking for a job. Business model. Uh, we have three cornerstones. First, uh, we got paid for the access to our database from HRs. It's a monthly based or just for a search. Another one which we found through the customer development that uh, many companies want to plug into our system. Uh, just to visualize the current database of resumes. There are thousands and hundreds of thousands, even millions of resumes, uh, which can be visualized for better screening and search process of uh, for the recruiters. And of course, if we have a, a lot of database, uh, we can monetize the advertisement for very highly targeted users, so we get lots of information about education, work, so the system can offer users, they can set that's what career management is. They can set a goal in the future. I want to I finish university in three years. I want to be an investment banker or whatever. And the system will show you the people who already done this, uh, their experience, they work, and the system will offer some jobs 
which will lead the person to this way. Okay, I'm not going to stop a lot about competition. There is no direct one. Of course, we have some uh, tension from social networks and online recruiting uh, services, marketing, top down, bottom up from the social media marketing and talking directly to lots of HRs and social recruiting services. So, what's our secret sauce ingredient? <coughs> First of all, we have to work a lot on uh, design and user interface uh, to make it suitable for a person. It is one basic template of a resume, so it cannot be customized by the user because the end user is a recruiter who has to screen like hundreds of them. Uh, social networks is the main distribution channels. We import from user's profile and automatically create visualization. It's 100% user generation content. Our CVs and resumes are not static, but they are updatable by users. Uh, we can reach users who are not looking for a job, but just open for opportunities, which is very, very important for recruiting market. And of course, it's 100% free for users. Well, milestones. We have started uh, like three months ago. Now it's a working system. We will add an HR, HR part within a month. Uh, so there is a team of nine people working. Me as a founder, I have a lot of experience in online recruiting and uh, internet startups. We have a great CTO, so those have been working for online recruiting systems in the UK. Uh, there are very good guys in programming side, uh, which is really important. Uh, we have very good infographic designers on the team, which is really a very hard to find. And we are like now consulting with everybody we can find, uh, like Fadi or Steve Blank, or Russell Journey from LinkedIn, or, well, there are many people we uh, work with. And the system is not just our idea. We've been talking a lot with HRs. How, what's the most suitable way for them to screen the resumes? And we are not talking about headhunting. We're more than in recruiting. Because like, you know, LinkedIn is average age of users, like 41, and it's like top managers and stuff like this. We're more into the Facebook and more younger audience. So that's about it. Go visual, get visible. Um, first of all, very good. So, thank you. Yeah. Um, wonder if you know the Gapminder guys. They're also Swedish. And they got acquired by Google. Visualization. Oh, right. Trying to analyze your point. Take a look. Um, yes, sure. I just say Swedish guys know. Uh, <laughs> uh, where are you based? Uh, Saint Petersburg, Russia. Well, that's our development quarter over there. And all the people there? Yes. Yeah. It's uh, all people working full time in house. So it's not just like study. Gotcha. Um, I, I think the biggest differential we have is the visual part. Yeah. Um, but LinkedIn and Facebook and all of these other ones, they have, and Facebook timeline, I guess you can look yeah. at that a little bit, um, they have massive, massive, massive user base at this point. Uh -huh. And um, my w biggest worry for you would be, I know this always comes up, incumbents have a lot of power, but if they see this and they decide we want to build this, few engineers that build this, yeah. they have massive distribution pool like that. Yeah. So that's uh, that's a very good question and also if like you know I'm thinking of about if approach some LinkedIn guys over here in the valley to talk or maybe it's to all the giving them all the information or whatever. But from the business point of view, there are basically three main forces on the market. It's LinkedIn, it's master.com and very strong regional online recruiting services in Russia, in Turkey, in Germany, in Argentina, in Brazil, in China, in India. So we can, like you know, play uh, between them. If LinkedIn does this, I go to, well, there is an organization called The Network. It combines all the strong regional online recruiting services, which are already approached by us, like uh, by them, they approach us, uh, talking about Let's visualize all our database. For Russia, it's like 6.5 million resumes. For Brazil, it's like 12 million resumes. For China, it's like 25 million resumes. We can, with our help, they can play against LinkedIn. Or Master can play with us against them. So you see, we have the basic uh, problem now that we need, at this point, decide where to go. With whom should we go? Because uh, each of the way excludes others. 
So, you know, if we go with LinkedIn, there are other tools that just help for us. I think, um, hey, uh, sorry, government should pass to you after this. Uh, I think the question for you is, uh, where do you want to take this company? Uh, you could decide to pivot for an acquisition, and you have a very cool technology, or you say, no, I want to continue building it, and it sounds like your strategy is, let me go for the number two and number three, use my technology as a differential for the number one, against number one. That, that's a decision you have to make. But yeah, we want to build a company. I mean, like, this is, uh, you know, I've been like myself in an investing business, working with lots of startups, looking for an idea, but obviously it's my own, uh, that this is once in a lifetime opportunity to build something great, which is not known on the market so far, to, to, to make a real difference. It's, it, for, for us, now, I, I mean, like, we're really small to talk about acquisitions and stuff like this, maybe they can buy us for some amount of money. It's right. not about money. We, we can see the difference that people are really using it. Now we're in the beginning, like, we, we are not in beta for 20 something days, so we have like 2.5 thousands of users whom we like develop and get, getting all the feedbacks. And we can see that we can really make a difference. And there are lots of positive feedbacks in, from HRs telling us, come on, we are ready. What can you do for us now? How much would it cost? We are ready to pay because you bring so much effectiveness to our HR departments. So, so let me ask you about that because, it, um, you know, obviously, like it, it is beautiful. You know, like I'll go Thank get you. A, a resume there and stuff like that. But I think that one of the challenge, one of the reasons Salesforce was successful is because they had VPs of sales saying this is a mandate. Everyone must use Salesforce. Period. Mm -hmm. And I think what you need to get is HR departments saying that to all their job yes. seekers and yes. candidates. And so, yes. um, I think. That value proposition, and I think it's tough to me because when I, when I'm a hiring manager, I look at resumes. Frankly, it takes about three to five seconds to like scan a resume really yes. quickly and yes. move on. And I'm not sure since since everybody's resume is going to be so beautiful, uh, like <laughs> it actually makes it. It might make it a little bit harder. It might slow me down. So I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just uh, presenting that as a potential challenge. Um, but I think if you can get this to be the standard that hiring managers yes. basically decree. Yes. I will only accept applicants in this format. And, and so what I might say is, I think you might want to focus on a particular industry. Mm -hmm. And it might be one of the more visual ones. So maybe it's like the advertising industry or some creative industry where like people are just offended by a one-page Word document, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so th that's, yeah, that's my guess. It actually, with HRs, it works backwards. Uh, when they, uh, they create a vacancy in this style, so they mention, uh, what years of experience of work the person should have, what education, higher or what degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say uh, they don't need Myers Briggs test. So for HR, it can be customized a little. They don't care about hobbies, Myers Briggs, or key values. So they put some information. I want some IQ over here test. So people who apply for this job should make this and go through this test. Mm -hmm. So through the different, different filters we can apply, uh, they can like out of 2,000 potential candidates, they can like pick up 20 and screen them really fast. Like you know, like on an iPad, instead of scrolling down the Word document, they just like you know, just screen, right? mm -hmm. slide, slide, slide. So you're saying that if you make the application process based on to create this, yes. So if the company would have you know apply here and answer these questions and that conversion to this yeah, visual. There thing. are two ways to search through the database <laughs> or to apply for for a job. There is, a, a, just sort of crossing out of but I think the most interesting thing that I usually look at is, you know, how they describe their story of their career progression, right? And if you're just taking titles and, and businesses, that that misses out on the story element. I always look for how people tell a story of their career. Uh, what and, and I want to see them have the capability to do it. What we have launched uh, actually this Monday, it's an ability for, for a user to create visual resume like in four minutes. Then, uh, if you go online, you can see it. Uh, then you can convert it to text in the standard of uh, usual American re resume and add information over there. But this is just like you know a business card of a person. So if you want to know more about the person, you go check the text resume. And it's just for the beginning, just for to select five out of twenty to look deeper. Thank you. Right. Sorry.